In part two, I'll be covering the health savings account. This is an additional benefit that the district offers for you. It's a unique tax favored savings investment account that be, can be used to pay for current and future medical expenses. What makes it unique? Well, there's no federal taxes on your contribution and no federal taxes for the growth of your money. There's also no federal taxes when you withdraw for qualified medical expenses. Currently, the HSA is not tax exempt in the state of California. All funds in an HSA are owned by you from the first day that they're deposited. Think of it as an IRA for medical care. Who can contribute to an HSA? If you have medical coverage under the qualifying high deductible health plan, you may contribute to an HSA unless you are also covered under another medical plan that is not an ADHP benefit plan. Unless you are covered under a full health flexible spending account. Unless you are enrolled in Medicare, even Part A, or you are claimed as a dependent on someone else's taxes. Los Rios offers one ADHP option for you, and that's the Western Health Advantage 1800 HSA HMO option. Remember that when you change your health care at Los Rios, you do that later in the year, in July. But this is something that you're going to want to think about now because enrolling in the medical FSA would make it so that you could not enroll in July in the HSA option. So you want to look at all your benefits and choose what's best for you long term by planning ahead now for what will be available to you in July. Note that your calendar deductible actually refreshes every year in January. But if you change coverages in July, you'll actually be subject to a new deductible. So potentially there could be a situation when you are changing coverages whereby you'd have two deductibles in a 12 month period. So you just want to be aware of that and plan accordingly for what will be best for you and your family members. Who is the HSA custodian bank? That would be Healthcare Bank, a division of Bell State and Trust. It's not CBA. Your money will be in an actual bank in Fargo, North Dakota that was chartered in 1966. It's one of the largest privately owned banks in the Dakotas and Minnesota areas and has over $2 billion in assets. What expenses may be paid for through an HSA? Your HSA can be used to pay for the following tax-free expenses charges for covered expenses under any medical, dental, vision, or insurance policy, all your deductible, co-payments, co-insurance portions are covered expenses that would be eligible for you. There's also dental and orthodontic expenses, vision, as well as prescription and medicines. It also pays for thousands of medical supplies as well as alternative health providers. So that's very similar to the medical FSA. You can also, under the HSA only, pay for expenses for healthcare services incurred anytime after your HSA is open. For more information, please do refer to publication 502 and 969. That will give you a lot more information and help you make an educated decision. Similar to an FSA, over-the-counter medical supplies are eligible without a prescription, as well as drugs and medicine, which require a prescription. But do not plan to use your HSA funds for anything that is cosmetic or your health insurance premiums. 
No non-medical expenses are eligible under the HSA. So if you were to withdraw money or create a distribution for yourself under your HSA for a non-qualified expense, plan to pay a 20% penalty for that particular distribution. Please note that that penalty does not apply after obtaining age 65. Whose expenses do qualify? You, your spouse, your dependent children, and your federal tax dependent. You cannot use your tax-free HSA funds to pay for medical ex expenses incurred by your domestic partner who is not your spouse or your federal tax dependent. You also cannot use your HSA funds to pay for adult children. So although that's very common nowadays where we think that, that although they're covered on our health insurance up to age 26, that we would be able to use such a, a vehicle to pay for their expenses. This is specifically excluded from the HSA. How can I contribute to that HSA? You can do that in many modes. You can do that through employer contribution upon qualification. You can contribute through pre-tax salary deduction whereby you'd receive a federal tax savings on that. And you can also transfer money from another HSA in order to load your Los Rios HSA. You can also contribute bank to bank. So you can make a deposit directly from your personal bank account. What is the maximum contribution to the HSA annually? For 2016, those who are holding individual coverage, the maximum would be 3,350, whereby if you actually have family coverage, you'd be able to contribute $6,750. You can also contribute an additional $1,000 if you are over age 55 or 55. The district also provides you with a contribution towards your HSA upon qualification. The individual amount for full-time employees is $100 a month and for on individual coverage and those with family coverage would receive $150 a month. Part-time employees will actually receive a prorated portion, so they're also eligible for that. There is something called the full contribution rule that I want you to be aware of. This applies only to the very first year that you open up your HSA. It applies only when you open it on a month other than January, so less than a 12 month period. You're allowed to make a full annual contribution for the very first year that you open it up your account. However, there is a catch. You must remain HSA eligible throughout the full calendar year following the year you start that account. So if you were to start your account coming up in July and it's just a six month period, that means you would need to stay on that benefit, the ADHP qualifying HSA option, all the way through 2017. If you do not remain eligible for the full period of time, you would be subject to penalties for over a contribution. You can change your contributions at any time. Just by completing a form and sending it to your benefit department, they'll adjust the employee contributions that are coming out of payroll for you. Those monies will be deposited directly into your bank account. Your funds will stay in an FDIC insured cash account until you set up your investments. You decide how much you want to keep in the investment mode as well as the cash account for any amounts that are over $2,000. Balances in excess of the set cash amount will sweep over into your investment account. A complete section of high quality, no load, no low management fee mutual funds is available to you for long-term investment. 
You can change those investments as you desire, as you have full management over your personal HSA. Here's a quick example of what the investment portal looks like for you and the monies on the charts listed there. Give you an idea of how you can see and manage your investments. How do I access my funds? That would be at the same CBA site that you maybe are already used to for your medical FSA or your dependent care FSA. So you're gonna manage them right online with 24 seven online access to your benefit account. You can either use your debit card to pay at point of service for those expenses and access that money directly out of your account or you can make a distribution to yourself. There is an online bill pay system as well to you with a convenience fee of 250 per check, but there's no fee to you to make a distribution to yourself through direct deposit or for using your debit card at point of service. You can actually pay for expenses as they occur or delay and reimburse yourself in the future. You'll still get a bright red Benny card to easily access your funds. And you do need to understand how to enroll in that HSA. In order to qualify, you must be on the Health Western Health Advantage 1800 HSA HMO plan option. And that must be Los Rios plan. The enrollment form is required in order to open your HSA. So you'll check with your benefits team, verify you qualify, and they'll be happy to give that form to you so you can open your account for the very first time. Be sure that you triple check your form for accuracy because you're actually opening a real bank account with the information that you provide. And you do not want to make a mistake as they're going to check to make sure and protect you so that they know who you are and that you're truly opening that account. Note that you do not have to open your account more than once. So if you are already enrolled in an HSA and have an account open up through Los Rios, there's nothing you need to do. You can continue to elect and make your employee contributions as you wish, and you'll continue to also qualify for the employer contribution as well. Please note that the maximums are actually one amount. So your employer is making contributions on behalf of you, and that counts towards your annual maximum as well. Here's a simple screenshot of that home page, very similar to what you've seen previously if you've been with CBA for other FSA options. The most important thing to know about that HSA is that it's your money from first dollar when it goes into that account. You own the bank account. How often can you change? You can change your contribution monthly if you desire. So you can adjust up or adjust down as needed. You can use your tax-free HSA funds as long as you may remain on the qualifying ADHP plan. You can no longer make those funds after you're off that plan. Is the HSA portable? Absolutely, because like I said, it's your money. So you can take it with you, even if you were to leave Los Rios, and you can also transfer it to a new HSA elsewhere. In summary, be sure you know you must be on the ADHP option that qualifies an HSA works very similar to an FSA in that you can use it to pay for your out-of-pocket medical, dental, vision expenses that are not covered by your insurance, including your deductible. HSA funds are your money and they roll from year to year. You can even use it for qualified expenses when you are no longer covered by your HDHP option. So you can make withdrawals in the future even when you're not on the qualifying plan. That's super important to know. 
You can also save these funds all the way till retirement and have the withdrawals be completely tax-free to be used for your retirement. There are no federal taxes for your contributions, the growth, or the withdrawals. Interest is paid from first dollar. And there's a full family of investment options for you to, you, to select from. You can use a debit card at point of service, or you can make distributions to yourself, deposit them right into your personal bank account of choice. Online access is 24 seven, and once enrolled, there's no need to enroll again. Are there any questions regarding the HSA option? Great, thank you so much for having me. And if you have any other questions, feel free to call CBA at any time. You'll receive a, a real person on the phone and we're happy to assist. Thanks so much.